Hello and welcome back. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I've been here writing some of my deepest, darkest secrets in this diary here. And I'm about done for today, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this lock and secure it on my diary. This diary only has two keys, so I don't really need to worry about anyone accessing my valuable resources, right? Well, what if someone did something kind of unexpected? What if they, for example, took a relatively large hammer and smashed my diary, rendering the lock useless? Well, in that case, they could just open up my diary and read all of my secrets. So what could we have done differently? How could I have prevented this? For one, I could have written in my diary in a secret code so that even if my diary was smashed and opened, the perpetrator couldn't necessarily read what I had written. Or I could have locked my diary like I did and then locked it again in a filing cabinet with a different lock and a different set of keys so that they need a sort of second factor of authentication in order to open my diary. Now, this was a bit of a simple and silly example, but when it comes to Salesforce, how can you be sure that you're building secure solutions? Let's take a closer look. A secure solution controls access and protects data. You can make your solutions more secure by focusing on three main areas. The first is organizational security. You can build better organizational security by focusing on authentication and authorization. Authentication is the process of verifying the identity of a user who wants to access your system. As architects, we control authentication by creating Salesforce users based on individuals, not personas, configuring password policies, and configuring single sign-on, and more. Authorization, on the other hand, is the process of determining the features, functionality, and data a user can access once they've been authenticated. As architects, we control authorization by configuring persona-based groups using permission sets, using org-wide defaults, and configuring OAuth scopes for connected apps. The next area of focus for a secure solution is session security. A session is initiated when a user successfully authenticates into Salesforce. Session security is the practice of configuring your system in a way that prevents unauthorized parties from accessing your system or data by interfering with or hijacking sessions. As architects, we can take advantage of built-in session protection, including protection from cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgery, clickjacking, and more. But we can also configure high assurance sessions, session-based permissions, OAuth token refresh policies for connected apps and manage inactive user sessions through timeouts. The final consideration for a secure solution is data security. Data security is the practice of protecting your data from unauthorized access, corruption, or unintended deletion. As an architect, you can improve data security by using a combination of org-wide defaults and field-level security to secure access to data, and permission sets to open up access to persona-based groups of users and defining the need for encryption tools like Salesforce Shield and Apex Crypto Class methods. This was just an overview of what it means to build a secure solution with Salesforce. So if you're interested in learning more, be sure to check out the secure section of Salesforce Well Architected on architect.salesforce.com and link down below. And with that, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you back here very soon.